Hey guys, so in this video, you will learn about combat centric shipbuilding techniques to make your ship more resilient in combat. And keep in mind that this is not about armor plating or adding redundant components to your ship because obviously if you add more armor or more components, your ship will be more resilient but this is not about that all right this is more about how to optimize uh, what you already have to increase its resilience so before we go to the more advanced stuff first let's just get the basic principle out of the way which is make sure you don't concentrate your components in the same area all right that's obvious especially the gyroscopes and batteries all right now let's get to the advanced stuff all right so number one you want to make sure your gyroscopes are sitting inward not outward because when your gyroscopes are sitting outward when the armor outside gets destroyed your gyroscopes will also be destroyed together with the armor but if your gyroscopes are sitting inward when the armor outside gets destroyed your gyroscopes will then start taking damage instead of getting destroyed together with the armor and number two use small cargo containers instead of conveyors because small cargo containers are stronger compared to conveyors and it's a little bit more expensive but not by a whole lot and they cost the same amount of PCO so it's always better for combat if you use small cargo containers instead of conveyors and number three only applies if you have hydrogen thrusters on your ship is that you need to understand that the hydrogen thrusters are more dependent on conveyors compared to your turrets because turrets have internal magazine storage so they can still function for a little while without the conveyor but when the conveyor line of a hydrogen thruster gets disconnected it will stop functioning so you want to make sure your hydrogen thrusters are sitting on something that is stronger than your turrets for example a hydrogen tank instead of the large cargo container number four you want to make sure your thrusters are spread out depending on uh, how heavy certain parts of the ship are so this will make sure you maintain your thrust to weight ratio as the ship is slowly getting more damage in combat all right all right so those are the things that you can do to increase your ship's resilience in space engineers uh, like the video if you like it and subscribe to the channel to be notified of my future videos there's also a discord if you guys want to join and hang with the others and stuff so yeah Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.